given natin tong ER natin o yung energy efficiency ratio natin, uh, makikita natin yung formula dyan kung paano makuha yung cost of operation ng ating unit. So, dito makikita natin yung rated power times monthly usage times power rate per kilowatt hour then yung cost of operation natin. Hello mga katekniserve! Dito, i-discuss ko at magkakaroon tayo ng detailed explanation kung paano nga ba kinukuha yung electricity consumption ng isang aircon using a simple step of computation. At gagamitin natin itong yellow niya na kung saan naka-indicate yung ating EER or yung energy efficiency ratio ng ating aircon. So ngayon, uh, magkakaroon tayo ng detailed computation kung paano nga ba natin makukuha yung electricity consumption ng ating aircon. So, given natin itong EER natin o yung energy efficiency ratio natin, uh, makikita natin yung formula dyan kung paano makuha yung cost of operation ng ating unit. So, dito makikita natin yung rated power times monthly usage times power rate per kilowatt hour then yung cost of operation natin. And also, dito sa parting taas, makikita natin yung specification ng ating aircon. So, yung aircon na nabili namin is carrier, meron siyang 0.75 HP na capacity. So, yung kailangan natin dito is yung power input natin na kailangan natin sa formula natin mamaya. Makikita mo yung power input niya is 580 watts. So, convert lang natin siya into kilowatts para magamit natin mamaya. Kung wala kayo nitong ER na yellow tag, makikita nyo naman yung power input niya sa sticker na nakakabit sa ating aircon. So, tingnan nyo na lang dun. So ngayon, uh, let's proceed to our computation. Kailangan lang natin mga data is this rated power na yung sabi ko sa inyo kanina is 580 watts based din sa ating aircon na kailangan natin siyang convert into kilowatts and magiging 0.58 kilowatts siya. Divide lang natin siya ng 1000 then rated power is equals to 0.58 kilowatts. Then, yung daily usage ng ating aircon, based din sa aming daily usage, kasi for room air conditioning lang siya, ginagamit lang siya after work. So, normally, nag-average siya ng 6 hours per day of operation. Then, this one is the power rate. This power rate is came from Amiral ko as of December 2020. Search nyo na lang kung magkano yung power rate nila per kilowatt hour. Upon research, yung power rate natin is 8.47 53 pesos per kilowatt hour. Yun yung power rate natin. Then, i-apply natin yung formula. This formula. Rated power, times natin siya ng monthly usage ng ating aircon. Then, yung power rate natin. And then, makukuha natin yung cost of operation ng ating unit. So, let's proceed. The power rate is this one. Point 58 kilowatts multiply natin siya sa monthly usage so yung monthly usage natin ginagamit namin siya for 30 days per month so 30 days per month multiply mo siya ng kung ilang oras per day mo siya ginagamit so our daily usage is 6 hours per day then yung power rate is 8 pesos 0.4753 So yun yung ating power rate Then uh, upon computation Makukuha natin cost of, of operation is Multiply lang natin siya Gamit yung ating calculator Na 0.58 Multiply by 30, which is 30 days per month, ta-times natin siya ng 6 hours per day naman, yung gamit ng ating aircon. Then, multiply natin ang power rate na 8.4753. Then, ang makukuha natin sagot ay 884.82. So, ano tong 884.82? This is the power consumption or yung cost of operation per month pesos per month so ibig sabihin 
yung aircon natin na may 0.58 kilowatts, makapag-produce siya ng 884.82 pesos per month sa ating electricity bill. So, ang tanong, ito na ba yung babayaran natin? This is not the actual bill na ating babayaran. Kasi itong sagot na nakuha natin is mangyayari lang to if yung ating compressor is continuously running throughout the time. So, meaning, hindi siya nagpapatay buhay, continuous running. Pero yung aircon natin, especially for window type, lalo na sa room air conditioning natin, uh, yung compressor natin is in auto operation. Minsan namamatay siya, minsan nabubuhay. Depende dun sa settings natin. So, this one is for continuous running lang. Laging buhay si compressor. Ibig sabihin, 100% running si compressor natin. Hindi laging 100% tumatakbo si compressor. Throughout the operation, kasi si compressor natin is 70% na tumatakbo and then 30% na off patay. So meaning naka fan mode lang siya. So, alin yung kailangan natin dito sa actual computation natin? So, this one. Ito yung kailangan natin i-record kasi ang nakapag-produce ng mataas na electricity is yung ating compressor work. So, kukunin natin yung 70% nitong ating 884.82. Yun yung ating maging estimated actual bill. So, yung nakuha natin sagot kanina, i-multiply lang siya nat natin siya ng 0.70. Then, the answer will be 600 19.37 pesos. So, ito yung actual bill na babayaran natin, estimated. Compute natin siya per day. So, sa per day, di-divide lang natin siya ng 30. Well, 1 month is equal to 30 days. Meron tayo nakuha na 20 pesos, 0.64. So, paano naman natin kukunin yung per hour consumption ng ating aircon? So, yung ating usage ng ating aircon is 6 hours per day. So, i-divide lang natin itong 20.64 ng 6. Divide 6. Then, makukuha natin sagot is 3.44. So, ito yung consumption ng ating air conditioning unit na may 0.58 kilowatts and daily usage of 6 hours na may power rate na 8.47 pesos. So, this is just an estimated computation. So, hindi ito ibig sabihin, ito na rin yung mangyayari dun sa consumption ng inyong aircon. Pwede rin siyang mag-iba based dun sa function niya kung paano niya siya ginagamit. So, also, yung power rate natin is nag-iiba-iba also. Last month, this is 8.51. Ngayon, bumaba siya naging 8.47. So, yun lang. Ganito yung pag-compute ng ating electric consumption ng ating air conditioning unit. So sana ah, naging helpful ulit to sa inyong video at ah, if ever may air conditioning unit kayo na gusto nyo malaman yung power consumption, ah, hopefully makatulong sa inyo itong ating computation na ito.